At this last point, we'll look at the most important door, the Door of the Palms or the Arch of Blessings. The Door of the Palms, as it is known today, was also known as the Arch of Blessings, whose designation seems to refer, according to Manuel Nieto Cumplido, to the act of blessing the royal banner on the royal coronation of a new monarch. The lieutenant major, after bowing three times facing the Holy Cross, handed over the royal banner to the ensign major, while singing the Te Deum. The name Door of the Palms is taken for being the entrance and exit place of the Palm Sunday procession. It is located right in front of the Door of Forgiveness, in the central access of the mosque before the Almanzor extension was made. This central access ends in the sacred niche of the mosque, the Merab. During the 14th century, two small, blind, polylobulated arches were built on the sides, one of them hosting the following quote. The servant of Allah, the emir of the believers, has ordered the restoration of this facade and its consolidation in order to enhance the ceremonies of worship of Allah and preserve the sacred character of their dwellings. This inscription is due to the reinforcement of the facade that we see made during the age of Abderrahman III. If we stand just below the arch, we can effectively observe a double arch, one of which, the most inner one from the 8th century, is slightly inclined, and the outer one from the 10th century is the reinforcement made during the age of Abderrahman III. The door, as we have mentioned, has a double arch, an external one in which columns present shafts and chapters of caliphal styles, and an internal one, from the 8th century in which chapters are from Visigothic origins. We observe on the Visigoth chapters the space left by crosses which were wiped out by Muslims when building the mosque in the 8th century, reusing Roman and Visigoth columns. The two columns with Latin quotes that appear on both sides of the external part of the first arch are miliary columns from the Roman age that surfaced in 1533 when the foundations of the cathedral cross were excavated. Above the arch, there is a wide cornice that, supported by corbels, extends along this entire side. Crowning the door of the palms, there is a pavilion built in 1533 by Hernán Ruiz I, representing the Annunciation of Mary. To do this, he placed in the center of two niches, crowned by domes and framed between columns, representing the Virgin Mary on the right and the Archangel Saint Gabriel on the left. The coat of arms that appears centered under the set of domes is that of the son of the second Duke of Alba, Fray Juan de Toledo, Bishop of Córdoba between 1523 and 1537, who paid for the expenses of this wall. The entrance is closed by a Baroque gate from the 17th century. We finish this route through the doors of the Cathedral Mosque, closed doors that open so you can discover one of the most wonderful and unique monuments in the world, the Cathedral Mosque of Córdoba.